First here at 6, police say they found bundles of stolen mail with credit card information and tax forms inside one man's car. Officers say they made the discovery after pulling over this man, says it Ortiz, for a traffic stop. The postal inspector thinks it could be connected to a series of thefts. And as KXAN's Chris Sadegi reports, it could involve a much bigger criminal plan. For months, Postal Inspector Michael Sullivan's been chasing. We're investigating a number of mail theft. Area code 78753, 59, and 27. Important documents and credit cards stolen in bulk. There had been some tampering with the mailbox, uh, the community mailbox. We aren't identifying this man because he had his identity stolen. They went to multiple locations right after, one after another. With his replacement credit card because they checked his mail before he did. And they made sure to keep the transactions under a certain amount, I think, to avoid detection from the automated systems. With mailboxes like these, if you can get into one, you can get into all. That's why the postal inspector says check your mail often. There are others still that are out there. Potentially one is off the street because police say they found more than 50 credit cards and more than 100 tax documents in Cesar Ortiz's car. But Sullivan says it's likely bigger than one person. The tax returns, we suspect that they may be involved with another group. There have been multiple arrests in February for stealing mail, according to Sullivan, but those people are just the beginning. They sell that to a third party who then takes it to commit identity theft. Whatever identity they could find in the mail. In North Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. We checked, and Ortiz's criminal record contains several drug charges, and according to the arrest warrant, he told officers he would take the heat, but he would not snitch. As we mentioned here, the Postal Inspector's Office says this case may tie into a number of other investigations along Interstate 35 in North Austin. Just last week, a group of mailboxes was hit in this neighborhood, and in December, we told you about a surge in mailbox thefts at apartment complexes along the IH 35 corridor. Since January 14th, authorities have arrested six people for possession of stolen mail, but they say there are a large number of open investigations.